Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be solving a similar type of problem what we have done in, uh, done in uh, last video. Uh, it's called athlete sort. So let's go through this. <clears throat> Here you can see uh, in the description you are given a uh, spreadsheet that contains a list of n athletes. You are having n athletes and their details such as age, weight, height, and so on. So you are given an n athletes and their attributes. You are required to sort the data based on kth attribute. These are the attributes. So on one of the attributes, you have to sort the athletes and print their final resulting table. Given example here, you can see these are the attributes. So rank 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The, there are 5 um, uh, athletes and their ranks are like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then ages are given, heights in centimeter are given. If you will sort based on k equal to 1, that is this age thing, right? k equal to 1 means this age. You can see the sorting, it is uh, from lowest to highest now, okay? So k is index from 0 to m minus 1, where m is the number of attributes. So here you can see the k value can go from 0, 1, 2, because uh, m is equal to 3 is there. So k will go from 0 to m minus 1 right e columns are m right so attribute means their height age weights their features actually if two attributes are the same for different rows for different rows if you have same attribute for example if two athletes are of same age then you have to print that appeared first in the input whoever whoever comes first uh, that you have to print in case uh, you have same values in in uh, in one attribute so this is very important so that is the, what uh, this uh, problem makes interesting then you have first line uh, the inputs are given in this fashion uh, first line will have n and m separated by space the next li n lines will have the uh, attributes all are uh, m uh, containing m elements last line will give you the value of k these are the constraint uh, not uh, really necessary but you should uh, uh, actually uh, write uh, constraints as well then you have to print the n lines sorted table in n lines each line should contains the space separated element and here you can check the example so these are the value of n and m then for five uh, rows you have the attributes here so this is one two and three uh, type of attribute and lastly you have the value of k right then you have to uh, sort with respect to the value of k so k equal to 1 means this middle column means 2 1 9 23 5 so after sorting you can see 1 2 5 9 23 right so all the data has been sorted with respect to k is equal to 1 right second attribute so since k is 0 indexed 0 indexed means it is starting from 0 0 to m minus 1 if it is 1 indexed means it will start from 1 to m likewise so this data is uh, this code piece of code is given to us so here you can see these are the uh, libraries and uh, here you can see uh, this part and this part is not given uh, so let me remove it so actually i was shooting before but some problem came and that's why it's uh, it's written so this piece this piece is given to you this much and this uh, libraries are already imported to you here you can see inside this you are getting the value of and nm so nm nm is the variable name it's not the value of and nm you will get the value of and nm by doing this nm0 and nm1 converted into integer then there is an array uh, initialized and inside that array uh, they are feeding the, the uh, these values these attributes and then you have the value of k let me show you how um, how the array looks like so that you will get a feel let me run it so here you can see this is how it looks the array so you can see each of the row is uh, one element of list this is one element then another is seven one zero seven one zero nine 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 one two three twelve six five nine like this so we have a list here uh, so everything is arranged we just have to sort it so since uh, because of this guy because of this thing uh, 
since whoever comes first uh, i have to uh, uh, print that row first so uh, it it's like uh, you have to you have to track the order in which they come so that's why i i i will be using order dict okay from collections collections import ordered dict then you have to initialize it right so let me call it dct dictionary and uh, ordered dict that is how i have initialized now i have to feed the values inside this dictionary so for i in range uh 0 to n what i'll do i'll i'll just uh, name the keys as the number and values will be these list list items this list item so each list item will have one one key associated to it so that i can i can um, arrange according to the according to the uh, order they are coming so remember when you will use order dictionary whoever comes first will be uh, will be having high uh, lower value like starting value so that is how you can imagine so what i'll do dict i i am giving them values key values and i am assigning values as array i right then if i show you print dct how it looks you can see so this is the uh, list and this is now you can see the order dictionary so you have those list items here here and here but they are now also having this 0 1 2 uh, then 3 then 4 they, they this means they are uh, came in order 0 1 2 3 4 okay one after the other now so that i can sort with respect to this values now you can see this becomes like a previous example only so we will sort with respect to k among these guys and if there will be same values then we will sort with respect to these guys right the 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 ordering so let's do it so now i'll just have to use that same thing i i will be using let's say d sorted sorted inside what we have to sort dct but not only dct i if i have to sort the items i have to write dct dot items that is how you sort in in dictionaries then you give the key key will be equal to lambda lambda and then you have to specify the the function x such that it will uh, sort uh, first with respect to what k but uh, they they are double indexed right so this guy will give you this is x 0 and uh, this is x 0 then uh, x uh, x 1 of something you can write right so this will be x sorry let me give you again this will whole thing will be x this will be x 0 this will be x1 if you have to x is inside this element then x11 right this will be x11 this will be x10 this will be x12 right so we have to sort with respect to x1 and uh, in bracket i will write what k k is this k you can see so it will sort with respect to x1 inside this whatever k value you will define if there will be any any uh, uh, same if the attribute same attributes we will get in different rows we have to print the row appeared first so that will be this guy these guys so x is 0 i'll call right so comma x 0 just like last one i i am doing last problem whatever i did whatever we did last one so this is how we will sort it now our uh, uh, dictionary item is sorted let me print d 
so that you will get to see all of it so list uh, then uh, dictionary and then you can see the sorting okay, so this is the pre uh, initial list then we feed it uh, in order dictionary and then you can see first it is sorted k is equal to what is k value uh, if you see k value is 1 so with respect to the first guy so you can see this is a 1 uh, then uh, 2 then 5 then 9 and then 23 if there will be same values uh, in two of the list then it will sort according to these x zeros right so now we have to present in this fashion present in this fashion so what i'll do is i'll uh, run a for loop for i in d we will print i right this i will comment this also i will comment and this also i will comment so what we will have is oops okay so we have uh, printed i we have we just had to print these guys no so x1 i1 i1 we have to print and we have to print in space separated form right so i'll put a star here now it will be fine so sample test case is passed you can see let's submit it test cases are passed and we are done so we have uh, done this problem now let's move on to the next one